We know that millennials make up the largest uh, portion of the U.S. population, but we also learned that they don't make up the largest spending on food. So we knew that there could be an opportunity there to really maximize how we engage with the millennial audience to benefit dairy. That's why we wanted to dig a little deeper. And so we started by looking at research from all different sources. Uh, so really a secondary research approach. And we had some really interesting findings after analyzing and synthesizing and, and going through it. And we do think that there's some great opportunities for dairy. The first thing we learned is that millennials uh, oftentimes or more often than not have children. A lot of millennials are very uh, children oriented, they're spending more time with kids than they used to, than the same generations have in the past. And so kids are a huge influence on their purchasing decisions. But kind of what was more interesting is that also households that have kids, we learned, are more likely to purchase milk, cheese, and yogurt, and all dairy. Really, the takeaway is that there is this big opportunity to engage millennials and bring them deeper into specifically the dairy category. Something else that we learned is that millennials more so than any other generation are motivated by convenience factors. So retailers that can offer quick and easy parking or prepared foods, uh, single serve, on the go, those kind of really quick and convenient things really resonate well with the millennial shopper. We also learned that they really expect and look for foods that have added functionality. By that, I mean foods that might have added probiotics or uh, added protein. And the reason that they're looking for that is um, something unexpected, uh, an added benefit for them. And a brand that we found called Night Foods does a really good job of this. Uh, they have ice cream and they market themselves as ice cream that you eat before you go to bed. And they put ingredients like cherries that are naturally high in melatonin in there. Then you're not only getting a great snack before bed that's delicious ice cream, which is what you expect, but then you're also getting something that helps you go to sleep. A few key takeaways that we have from this research is that one, we really have to embrace technology to reach this consumer audience. And we also need to have sustainable, uh, convenient options for them that still offer a high or premium value. And we also now know that it's all about targeted health messaging when it comes to millennials. And so how can we better tell dairy's sustainable nutrition story in a way that really resonates with this audience? And that's how we better engage the millennial and grow sales with dairy at retail.